Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 29. In this training module, we're going to explore setting up a launch control for naturally aspirated and supercharged engines, as well as working with launch control and the anti-lag to build boost off the line for a turbocharged engine. We're going to have a lot of things to cover here. Let's jump in and check out working with this feature. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with programming a two-step rev limiter function within our Holly Sniper EFI system. We're also going to be taking a look at how we can integrate a anti-lag effect with our launch control so that on a turbocharged engine we can build more boost off the line to get a better launch and a better 60 foot. Now two-step or launch control are terms you may or may not have heard. This essentially is providing a stationary rev limiter. So when we're stopped and we want to launch our engine, it'll provide a rev limiter or a lower rev limiter. So you have your main limiter that's going to be not allowing the engine to go ahead and um, to over rev then this will be a lower limiter that allows us to be able to go full throttle. It'll hold the engine there at the RPM that we're programming here in the software. And then as soon as we release the enable button for the launch limiter, we'll launch the car at full throttle and we'll find we can get more consistency and repeatability with a launch limiter rather than staging your car, let's say at the drag strip and pedaling it, let's say half pedal to hold it at a certain RPM range and then stomping the pedal down to be able to launch. We can simply go full throttle, hold the button, let go of the button when we launch, and the car is gonna do exactly the same thing each time. So it gives you consistency and repeatability. You'll definitely get more consistent 60 foots for sure. And experimenting with your launch RPM, you can also find that you can probably improve your 60 foot with your vehicle. Let's jump in here and take a look at how we can program this. This is extremely simple to configure and to program, but when we're enabling the anti-lag effect, to build boost on a turbocharged application, so we want to build more boost off the line, it does get a little bit more complicated, so we'll look at how we can integrate that here in just a few minutes. So first thing we're going to do here, jump in the calibration file you have open within your Sniper software. We're going to move up in here to our Spark ICF, and we're going to go jump down here into our Rev Limiter tab. Now, we have two limiters that we can program. We have our main Rev Limiter. I have it currently set to 7,000 for my engine. This won't allow me to over rev the engine if I'm, let's say, in gear, I'm coming up to the cut point right here at 7,000. That'll go ahead and it'll cut the spark and it'll rev limit the engine. It'll essentially shut down combustion. Now, we also have our rev limit one. Rev limit one is what I want to introduce here for bringing in the two step functionality. So, for our launch control RPM, very, very simple to set this up. We just go here to enable. The type here is only going to be spark, so we don't have any other options. The on RPM, this is where we want that cut to happen at. We typically want to have this, let's say your peak torque is at something like 4,000 RPM. You usually want to have this right around your peak torque. So I would program this, let's just say at 4,000. Now, where you set your on RPM for your cut for the launch limiter really depends on the track conditions and your tire, your tire pressures, how hot the tires are getting. A lot of variables here that can influence what we can actually program in the value here. So you can experiment with this moving up in a couple hundred RPM increments at a time. So let's say you have it at 4,000, you cut a 1.5 60 foot, try it at 4,200, and then maybe at 4,400. See how the car reacts and watch your 60 foot. You can keep walking this up or moving it down and adjusting that based on what your 60 foot is doing as long as everything else is staying consistent with the vehicle. So meaning that the tire pressure is gonna be the same each time you go ahead and test your tire temperature is going to be the same, the track temperature is going to be similar or the same. You want some consistencies to be able to evaluate what your launch RPM is doing in terms of how it's affecting your 60 foot. Now, the next part is going to be where we've wired this into. So the input is either unassigned or input number two. We have no other options here. Now, input number two has to be grounded. We need to ground input number two, which is the yellow wire on our sniper system. Uh, we need to go ahead and ground that. Now you can do that in a variety of different ways. The easiest way i found to implement a launch limiter is to use a pistol grip style shifter and then the button that's on the pistol grip shifter, you can find that as an option, you can get with buttons. When you press the button, the wiring that would go into that button, one leg of the wire go to chassis ground, the other leg of the wire will you'll, you'll run right to the yellow wire for uh, your holly and that'll go account for your input number two. So when we've grounded input number two, that'll apply the limiter that we want right here. So you'll be able to hold the button down, launch the car, let it go as soon as you launch, and then it'll turn off and we have no limiter. Now, if you're going down the drag strip and you accidentally hit the button, that'll go and engage it again and it'll actually slow the car down. So you have to be careful of 
how you're actually activating. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.